Okay, good day. This is Math 140 College Algebra. I'm Professor McCulley. This is Lesson 1.6, Mathematical Modeling. Let's get right to it. Today, in Lesson 1.6, we are going to use a verbal model to write an algebraic expression. We are going to solve problems by writing and solving equations written from verbal models, and then we are going to manipulate and use common formulas to solve problems. So, let's talk about mathematical modeling. This is the process of translating phrases or sentences into an algebraic expression and or equations. Uh, here's an example. Mr. McCulley makes $12 an hour working at McCulley's Wild Widgets. If the company does well, he gets a bonus of $5,000. Write an equation that models Mr. McCulley's wages, W, based on the number of hours he works, H, and the bonus that he would get assuming that the company has done well this year. So my Verbal model is basically my wages is going to be my hourly rate times the number of hours plus the bonus. And so I'm going to make my wages W. I'm going to make my hourly rate 12. And I got that from this value right here. My number of hours I don't know is H. And then uh, we are assuming that the company has done well. And of course, Mr. McCulley's Wild Widgets always does well. I get my bonus of 5,000. And so my equation here, W equals 12H plus 5,000. I just take the number of hours that I worked, whether it is uh, a weekly or yearly, just a total amount for that particular instance, multiplied by 12, add 5,000. That's my yearly wages. All right, so some translating uh, some key words or phrases. So if you see some of these words, you're going to... Um, use these particular operations so equals equals to is are was will be represents is all can be changed with an equality some plus greater than increased by more than exceeds a total of it's going to be some addition subtractions difference minus less than um, decreased by subtracted from reduced by and the remainder uh, multiplication product multiplied by twice times percent of and division quotient divided by ratio and or per some common formulas that you might see percent increase or decrease and this is uh, like a, a simple interest it is going to be the amount times one plus whatever rate increase or decrease you're going to do so decrease r would be negative and you just do a simple interest there um, Velocity, velocity equals distance divided by time. The perimeter of a rectangle is P equals two times the length plus two times the uh, width. The area of the rectangle is area equals length times width. And there are many more on page 164 of the book. And I suggest you take a look at those because you may be asked to use some of those in the practice work. Next, some examples. A picture frame has a total perimeter of three meters. The height of the frame is two thirds the width. And it says, draw a diagram that gives a visual representation of the problem and identify the width as W and the height as H. All right. And then it says, write H in terms of W and write the equation for perimeter in terms of W. Ooh, okay. So first, let's do A. Draw a diagram as a, a visual representation of the problem and identify the width and the height. So let's see here. It says... The uh, height of the frame is two thirds the width, so it's so it's two thirds of what the width is. So in this particular instance, our height is actually going to be. Oh, I don't see my my tools there. I don't quite want that. So let's undo. Let's see if I can get my. There we go. And that looks about like two thirds. So this is going to be my uh, solution for part A. And so we're going to call this the width. And we're going to call this the height, and we know that the height is two-thirds of what the width is. All right, so there is my visual representation. There's A. B, it says write H in terms of W. All right, so we have already done that right there. H is two-thirds of W. And then write an equation for perimeter in terms of W. Okay, so let's start with perimeter. We know that the perimeter is two times the width for this leg and that leg, plus it's two times the height 
for this leg and this leg. So that's my perimeter equation, but they want it in only terms of w. So I'm going to take this expression that I already had, and I'm going to plug it in for h, and that will give me p equals 2w plus 2 times 2 thirds w. Excuse me. So if I do that multiplication here, let's, let me put this, expand that a little bit. 2 times 2 thirds is going to be 4 thirds w. Now, I want to add these two fractions together. So I have to have a common denominator. And I ask myself, how many thirds are in 2? Well, if there's 3 thirds in 1, then in 2, there'll be 6 thirds. And I can simplify this final equation. Uh, 6 plus 4 is 10 thirds w. So the entire perimeter is going to be 10 thirds of whatever w is. Now, it says find the dimensions for the picture. So they tell us at the beginning that the perimeter is 3 meters. So in part C, I'm going to say P is equal to 3. All right. And so if P is equal to 3, what I can do is I can come over here and I can go 3 equals 10 over 3. That's a 10, not a 16. Uh, w. And then what I'm going to do to get... Um, W by itself, I'm going to go multiply, M-U-L-T, both sides by um, 3 over 10. And when I do that, 3 over 10 times um, 3 equaling to 10 over 3 W, well, what's going to happen here is... 3 over 10 times 10 over 3 is going to cancel, and that's going to leave me with this w. And then um, 3 times 3 is 9. 10 times 1 is 10. I get 9 over 10. w equals 9 tenths of, let's see here, did they give us a meter? So 9 tenths of a meter. That's a pretty big frame. And so let's make sure we've got, it says find the dimensions of the picture. Well, um, we know that the height is two-thirds of the width, and so two-thirds of nine-tenths would give me a height. Two-thirds of nine, well, if I take nine and I divide it into thirds, that'll give me three, and I need two of those. So I'll have six over ten meters, or that'll give me two-fifths of a meter. So my final dimensions are going to be nine-tenths of a meter by two-fifths of a meter. That is my answer there. All right, another example. You plan to invest $12,000 into two funds paying 4.5% and 5% simple interest. Your goal is to obtain an annual interest income of $560 from your investment. What is the least amount you can invest in the $5 or 5% fund to obtain your objective? Okay. So I'm investing two funds uh, into funds totaling $12,000. So I think I'm going to need a system of equations here. And I kind of used the system in this last one. I had two equations. I had a height equation and a perimeter equation. This is going to be similar, similar to that. Um, but I'm going to say here x is the amount in the 4.5% 4 4 account. And Y is the amount in the 5% account. And Y is going to be more important because the question asks, what is the least amount you can invest in the 5% to meet your objective? Okay. So um, if I take X and, and I add Y to it, just the amounts, it has to be $12,000. So that's an easy one to come up with. So I got my 12000 there. Now, to get this 550 interest, well, I've got to figure out uh, what portion of the uh, amount in the 4.5% and the portion that goes in the 5% to give me this 560. So I'm going to go, for my second one, I'm going to go um, 0.45x plus 0.5y equaling to um, 
560. Now I could solve this uh, a number of different ways, but since this is the college algebra and you may not have had me for honors algebra 2 before, I'm going to solve this by a substitution. And since I want to um, figure out how much I want to invest in the 5%, which is the y, I'm going to solve the first equation for um, x. And when I do that, this expression here becomes y, or excuse me, um, x is equal to 12,000 minus y. I'm just going to subtract y from both sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression right here and I'm going to plug it in for x right there. And what that's going to allow me to do is have an equation for y. And since I'm trying to figure out the amount that goes into the 5% account, that's going to be helpful. So I have point, z uh, not point zero. I have 0 0.45 now times 12,000 minus y plus point oh or sorry do it right there Macaulay minus y plus 0.5y equaling to 560. All right, so I got to distribute here and I'll need my calculator so we'll quit out of this and it's um point uh, oh uh, four five and I think I may have made a mistake here um, it's a simple mistake and I apologize for it and I hope some of you guys are screaming your head off uh, 0.45 percent this is 45 percent there Macaulay you really made a mistake and that's 5 percent this is 50 percent so I gotta make just a slight change here and I apologize for that but Better for me to catch it now, 0.045x plus 0.05y equaling to uh, 560. And that's going to help a little bit. That means I have to change both of these. And I'll change this to 0 0.045 and this one to 0.05y. That's going to be a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Now I grab my calculator, multiply by 12,000. And I get 450, so uh, 4 or 5, excuse me, 540 minus 0 0.045y plus 0.05y when I distribute equals to 560. So I'm going to collect my like terms. And I'll have 450, I keep saying that, 540, and then a negative 0 0.045 plus a positive 0 0.05 is going to leave me a positive 0 0.005y equaling to 560. Now I'm going to subtract the uh, 540, set it right that time. And that'll give me plus 0.005y equals, well, 560 minus 540 is just 20. And then I'm going to divide by 0.005y equals 20 divided by 0.005, which is equal to, so I grab my calculator, 20 divided by 0.005 equals $4,000. So y equals $4,000. So my final answer, the least that can be invested in the 5% account is um, four thousand dollars. There we go. Well, that's all I got for today, folks. So today, the Marvel fun fact of the day: in Captain America, the first Avenger cap shield was made of different materials. It was rubber for punching, magnetized steel for wearing on his back, and CGI for throwing. That's all I got for today, folks. Have a good one. Bye.